Did you ever notice something strange in the Quran? When Allah speaks about the future, the day of judgment, paradise, hellfire, resurrection, he uses past tense verbs. For example, the Quran doesn't say, the day will come. It says, Allah's command has arrived, so do not try to hasten it. Surah An Nahl, verse 1. This linguistic style stuns physicists and makes us wonder if there may be a possibility that the Quran described modern physics 1400 years before Einstein did. So why does the Quran describe a future event as if it already happened? Classical scholars call this al-madi lit tahqiq or the perfected past, meaning something is so certain, so inevitable, it is spoken of as already done. But what if I told you this isn't just a linguistic style of the Qur'an? It's a dimensional signal, a clue, or a crack in the wall of linear time. A reminder that Allah is not inside time. Time is inside Allah's creation. Welcome to AI Code of Faith. In this investigation, we use AI to examine the Qur'an's descriptions of time and test whether a 7th century scripture could really echo the discoveries of modern physics. Stay with us, because the results may unsettle assumptions, challenge skepticism, and reveal why billions believe the Quran could only come from God. Before we open the evidence files, support this investigation. Like, share, and subscribe. Every click brings this research closer to someone searching for truth. The Quran reveals that everything, from the first breath of Adam to the last breath before the trumpet is blown, is already written in the law hal mahfud the preserved tablet allah says in surah yasin verse 12 we have meticulously recorded everything in the clear register and the prophet peace be upon him said the pen has written everything until the hour this means creation isn't a live broadcast it is a finished cosmic film beginning middle end afterlife all of it and we, human beings with limited senses, are traveling through that film frame by frame. We feel past, present and future, but Allah sees the entire map at once. What we call the future is only future from our limited point of view. And if the entire story is already written, wait until you hear what modern physics discovered about the structure of time itself. Here is where it gets even strange and impossible to miss. Modern physics has been moving shockingly close towards the worldview stated in the Quran. Time dilation, quantum multi-realm possibilities, the block universe theory. These are not fringe ideas. Top physicists like Einstein, Minkowski, Hermann Weyl and Sean Carroll defend versions of them. What do they claim? They say that time might not be something flowing forward, but something already laid out, like a landscape. The past still exists. The future already exists, we're just not there yet. In physics, this is called the block universe, space-time as a frozen four-dimensional structure. Einstein himself wrote after his friend's death, for us believing physicists, the distinction between past, present and future is only a stubborn illusion. Does that sound familiar? It echoes the Quranic description that future events of the hereafter are already completed in Allah's realm while we are still journeying towards them. Modern physics says, time isn't moving at all. You're the one moving through space-time. And the Quran hinted at this long before relativity. A single day with your Lord is like a thousand years according to your count. Surah Hajj, verse 47. And the modern theory of eternalism exactly mirrors this Quranic perspective. Physicists argue that past, present and future already exist together in a single four-dimensional reality. But the Quran mentioned this 1400 years ago. Allah says in Surah Taha verse 110, He knows what is before them and what is behind them, while they are unable to encompass his knowledge. And if that sounds uncanny, the next chapter shows the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, witnessing realms that, according to physics, shouldn't even be accessible in our timeline. One of the most dramatic proofs comes from the miraculous night journey of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. In our timeline, Jannat and Jahannam will be fully apparent after Qiyamah takes place, right? Yet during the night journey or mirage, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was shown both the realms in detail. 
A hadith narrates the Prophet stating, I saw paradise, and I reached out for a cluster of grapes. And I saw hell, and never have I seen a sight more horrifying. How? How could he see a future realm in its completed form, before it even happened? Because the mirage was not just a physical ascent, it was a dimensional elevation, a departure from linear time. The Prophet peace be upon him had stepped into Allah's eternal now, where Jannat and Jahannam are already completed. This is why the Quran uses the past tense. Allah says, And fear the fire, which has been prepared for the disbelievers, and paradise has been prepared for the righteous, not will be prepared, has been prepared, because it already is. And if Miraj wasn't bound by time, then what the Qur'an says next about multiple realms will stretch your imagination even further. Before we dive deeper, keep something in mind. The AI analysis at the end of this investigation doesn't just compare theories. It exposes a pattern in the Qur'an that modern physicists only discovered in the last century. What you're about to hear in this chapter is one of the clues that pushed AI towards a conclusion no historian expected. The Qur'an even hints at relativistic time, long before Einstein. Allah says, The angels ascend to him on a day equivalent to 50,000 years. Qur'an 70.4 Different realms, different clocks, different temporal geometries, but the same exact model used in modern theoretical physics. What physics calls multiverse branches, Islam describes them as alam, or realms layered beyond human perception. Quantum physics proposes multi-realm probability states, where all outcomes exist simultaneously, until observation collapses one path. Classical Islamic theology says, Allah knows all possible futures, and only one is written in the preserved tablet. Science sees different outcomes as probabilities, but Islam sees them as Allah's decree that changes with your actions, your will, and prayers. And if time can run at different speeds, watch what the AI analysis reveals next, and why its conclusion might change how you see your entire life timeline. We asked AI to calculate the probability that someone in the 7th century could describe a cosmology that aligns with modern-day theories such as time dilation, eternalism, multi-realm universes, the block universe theory, non-linear time, quantum multi-state reality. AI ran historical knowledge graphs, textual datasets, scientific timelines, and global intellectual histories. Then it gave an unbiased, clinical, algorithmic verdict. Based on all available evidence, the probability that a 7th century human could independently describe a model of time matching modern physics is effectively zero or humanly impossible. AI even noted, the Quranic description aligns with cutting-edge physics more than any known ancient worldview. Think about that. The Quran speaks of time ending, folding, compressing, expanding, and existing differently in different realms. Ideas at the frontier of today's physics. AI cannot explain it, but it calculates one thing. This pattern is not humanly possible for its era and points to a divine source. If this revelation astonishes you as much as it did AI, like, share, and subscribe, so the world can reflect on this timeless truth. Before the universe was created, your ending was written. But right now, in this fleeting mortal moment, you still have the freedom to walk towards the ending that earns Allah's mercy. If Jannat already exists, if Jahannam already burns, if Qiyama is already happening in the divine realm, then the only thing left uncertain in this universe is you, your story, your repentance, your turning back. You are the only variable left in a finished cosmic equation. So return to Allah, while the script still allows it, while your heart still beats while your soul is still inside the time-bound body you inhabit. Because when your final scene arrives, you will wish you used every second of dunya to rewrite your eternity. Allah says in Surah Az-Zumar verse 53, O my servants who have transgressed against their souls by sinning, do not lose hope in Allah's mercy. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Truly, He is the all-forgiving, most merciful. Repent, redirect, and stand before the one who extends his hand with mercy and forgives all.
while the door is still open.